franchise that made us question the boundaries of dreams and reality has been a fan favorite since the first film premiered in November 1984. Written and directed by Wes Craven, the film has some great special effects and an even better cast. Nightmare on Elm Street marked Johnny Depp's feature film debut, making him more of a heartthrob than he already was. The film also had a budget of $1.8 million, but grossed $12.5 million in the box office and has since become a cult classic, making Freddy Krueger and Robert Englund a legend. Hey everybody, this is Jed Thea, welcome to Nerdgasm, and as you saw from the intro, I'm going to be reviewing Nightmare on Elm Street today, specifically the Nightmare on Elm Street DVD box set. Uh, this one has every single film in it, one through seven, plus an encyclopedia giving you lots of special features and, and stuff like that. Uh, the one I'm going to be reviewing today is the first one, of course, Ni A Nightmare on Elm Street, which was, uh, written and directed by Wes Craven, as you heard. Uh, it came out in 1984 and had a very good cast. There was Johnny Depp, Heather Langenkamp, Robert Anglin. John Saxon, Ronnie Blakely, uh, she, eh, kind of, um, but yeah, this was, uh, after Swamp Thing, uh, and I, like, R Nightmare on Elm Street is one of my favorite series ever, aside from Child's Play, this is, like, the first, like, the most favorite, um, I would sell my soul, you know, to meet Wes Craven and Robert Anglin and everybody who did that movie, you know, just to talk to. Though, I'm not really interested in Johnny Depp. Uh, Johnny Depp is not my, like, I don't go all goo goo gaga, whatever, over him, like most people do. I mean, he's a good actor in some films, but he's not my favorite actor. Um, but the basic premise of this movie is, um, there is a child, kill a child serial killer, uh, named Fred Krueger, who murdered, like, I think 20 children, uh, about 10 years before the, the movie, and, um, and he, he ended up getting, uh, the trial was thrown out on the count of a dumbass technicality, and then the parents decided that they would burn him alive, and he was all, I'm gonna get your children even though I'm dead, you know? Stupid serial killers holding true to their word. What's the world coming to? But, so, you know, he makes good on his word and he ends up coming back and he haunts the children on Elm Street through their dreams. Um, or, well, I guess you can consider them nightmares. Uh, and the movie starts off with the character of Tina, who has um, a nightmare, but is so, sh like, she gets away, gets so shaken by it, tells her friend Nancy, who's played by Heather Langenkamp, and the next, like, I think that night, they ended up having a sleepover at Tina's. And I think it was Nancy, Johnny Depp's character, uh, Tina, and that, I think that was it. And then Tina's boyfriend ends up crashing the party, and then they go in Tina's mom's room and start doing the wild thing, and then they fall asleep. But then she ends up having a nightmare, and Freddy catches her and is um, killing her. And the boyfriend wakes up to see her, like, on the wall, you know, being ripped apart by these invisible knives and everything and she's pretty much dead and since he was the only one in the room when she got murdered they're all like he did it he did it even though he's all like no didn't do it and after this nancy ends up having these nightmares and um she's being stalked by you know the killer and everything and after all this uh nancy and johnny depp's character go was it they go to the police station to, to tell her, tell Nancy's dad, who's a cop, about, you know, what's happened, and, um, and they find the boyfriend hung from his cell because he fell asleep and Freddie got him and everything, and it's just, it's crazy, and I, I love this movie. I'm not going to spoil the whole thing for you, but this movie has some really good special effects, and... Like, this, if you've seen the movie before, um, the scene where Nancy's running up the step, like the, the quicksand step, that was made out of chopped up carpet and pancake mix, uh, which, you know, that's pretty...